Welcome back, everyone. GE Transportation is a division of General Electric. They manufacture equipment for marine, mining, and railways as well. The company says it's involved in more than 15 major rail projects across Africa, and they've announced African investments of more than $45 billion in just the past five years. Russell Stokes is the president and CEO of that division. He's been with GE for 16 years, and he was appointed to the position in 2013. Stokes was recently in South Africa, where GE is supplying more than 200 new locomotives. I met him at GE Transportation Headquarters in Chicago to see what he thought about rail operations on the continent. So, Russell, you got to visit South Africa recently. Yes. You toured the rail yards. Uh, what do you think are the biggest needs in terms of the rail industry in South Africa? Yeah, I think it's continuing to build out the actual infrastructure. Um, ultimately, even to be able to run a locomotive, you need good track. Um, so what you're seeing right now is a big investment in some of the different countries in terms of putting in that actual track infrastructure. Um, and then you also have to make sure that if you're selling a locomotive in country that you can service and take care of it. So you need to make sure you're putting money into the maintenance facilities, the sheds, the support infrastructure to be able to service them and keep them running. So let's talk about jobs because there's going to be a number of jobs created through this, um, both direct jobs indirect jobs, temporary and permanent. Do we know how many permanent jobs GE is going to help create? Yeah, so the estimates have been that we're looking at 5,000 jobs um, that will be created across the extended supply chain. Mm -hmm. The newest tender that we won, which is 233 out of their total 1,064, mm -hmm. um, actually has a 50%, 55% local requirement. Um, so we're working actively to be able to find those suppliers. Mm -hmm. um, there is a requirement around the um, black participation uh, within the supply base in South okay. Africa, so we're okay. paying a lot of attention right, to that right, as well. Right. Um, and making sure that we train them and bring their skills up to standards so that we can use their components on the locomotives that are built in country. So it's not just South Africa where uh, you're investing in rail infrastructure, you're also looking at Angola and Mozambique. So what determines which countries you invest in in terms of rail infrastructure? Yeah, so a good amount of it is really the government making rail investment a priority and understanding what it can mean. Um, if you were to look at right now since two, 2000 to 2011, um, exports grew quadruple um, out of Africa. So from 100 billion to 400 billion, 75% of that was raw Interesting. materials. Yeah. So a brand new rail infrastructure is desperately needed, basically. But absolutely, to, keep up to be with able that. to move that. Now, part of what you find as well is that for some of the landlocked countries, um, if you look at the amount of cost associated with moving something by truck versus by rail, you could actually have a much more significant amount of cost that gets into the ultimate final cost of the part or component. Almost a 70% adder to your cost by moving something by oh, truck instead of by rail. Okay. It is about the further industrialization of Africa. Okay. As an example, the Chinese, the Kazakhs, the Russians, and the Latvians and Lithuanians that are trying to figure out how to connect from the western coast of China all the way through into Europe. What they do now is they actually take boats. They take 45 days coming down under South Africa to get over to uh, into Europe. If they can go across the road, they think they can do it in 15 days. Mm. So just think about the perishables yeah. you can save, the lower inventory that you'd have to have inside of a supply chain. Right. Same thing could happen with Africa. It will revolutionize Absolutely. the transportation. And beyond Angola, Mozambique, South Africa, are there any other countries you guys really want to get invested in? Absolutely. So Nigeria, obviously. That's where um, I'm from. <laughs> <laughs> so given how big, I mean, it's the biggest economy that there is. Yeah, Four times natural, the number of people. Yeah, lots of natural resources that and there's lots of us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so if you look at, so interesting statistic, um, South Africa actually moves 20% of their freight by rail mm -hmm. using 2,000 locomotives. Nigeria moves 0.2% with about 35 to Why 40 is that? locomotives. It's the infrastructure, so yeah. continuing to invest in the infrastructure, bringing it back to new, uh -huh. um, investing in maintenance so that you can make sure that those locomotives continue to run. So uh, a lo lot of attention is really being focused, and decisions are being made and investments are being made. Right now there's $45 billion uh -huh. of investments that are being made in rail infrastructure across the country. Okay. So it is an exciting time, but it will take time to get there. Russell Stokes of GE Transportation there. Certainly sounds like a lot of African countries are on the fast track to success 
in the rail industry. Now, don't forget to check out our Facebook page and our website.